my Lord and my God. I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask you for pardon of my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Mother Immaculate, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my guardian angel, intercede for me. In the Gospel, Matthew describes the instruction that Jesus gave to the twelve apostles as they began their mission. The Gospel says, Jesus said to the apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. As you enter a house, wish it peace. Lord, that is what we want to pray about today. Peace. Achieving peace for ourselves and spreading peace to others. Of course, to spread peace, we have to start by being at peace. So, Lord, we want the peace that comes from you. Archbishop Fulton Sheen began his book, Peace of Soul, by writing, There can be no world peace unless there is soul peace. Well, a man who is not at peace with himself will not be at peace with his brother. Some people search for a sensation of peace through mindfulness and yoga, and that is probably helpful. But as modern-day apostles who are supposed to spread peace, we want a deep kind of peace that only you, Lord Jesus, can give us. In fact, in the Last Supper, you told your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. And Jesus gives us his peace through the sacrament of confession. The forgiveness that one receives through confession restores his or her soul to his peace. The Mass is also a powerful way of bringing about peace. Because when we participate at Mass, we are at peace with God, with ourselves, and with everyone in the world. At Mass, we ask Jesus, who is the Lamb of God, to grant us peace. Because only He can calm our inner troubles and root us in His peace. Then, sheltered in His peace, we can be sowers of peace. In fact, Offering peace is a way to evangelize. As we hear in the Gospel, when Jesus sent the disciples out on mission, He told them, Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. Well, you and I may have relatively little ability to be peacemakers in the whole wide world. But as modern-day apostles of Jesus, we have every opportunity to work for peace in our part of the world, at home, at work, in our relationships. So, Lord, in you we find real peace, peace of soul, peace of mind, peace of heart. And through you, Lord, may our relationships become more peaceful. Make our life a light for others. May our life reveal your loving presence, Lord, regardless of how we are received by others. Because we can't stop bringing you to those around us. Their negative response should not stop us from proclaiming God's loving presence by what we say and do. Look at Jesus. When he suffered the ultimate rejection on the cross, he proclaimed the good news even to those who abused him. Then after his resurrection, he proclaimed that same good news to those who had turned away from him and rejected him. Well, now in our lives, we have no control over what happens outside of ourselves. Like imagine today, we may have to deal with an annoying client or a rude driver, or a person who doesn't like us. 
And that's when we can get clarity from our Lord, serenity from our Lord, to help us see that what appears like poor treatment that we get from others is not about us. It's about what's happening inside of them, of what they're going through. And in those moments, Lord, help us keep our peace and give people the benefit of the doubt. And that to think that the least that we could do is to pray for them. So help us, Lord, to bring love and healing, not conflict. Some of the people we may encounter today could have inner conflicts and their souls are probably burdened by things that do not come from you, Lord Jesus. So hopefully today, our smile and our prayer can free them from their internal conflicts. We could probably learn from the example of uh, that girl, Samantha. You know, sitting in the back of uh, the minivan, she was trying to listen to a favorite song, but her parents' uh, growing frustration with heavy traffic was drowning it out. So she leaned forward and touched her mother's shoulder, wanting to ask them to pipe down a little. What? Samantha, what do you want? Snapped her mom. So Samantha pulled her uh, hand away and uh, mumbled, It's nothing, never mind. Then sitting back in her seat, she studied the scene before her. They were stopped at a stop sign at a busy five-way intersection that was confusing even when there was no traffic. She knew this from the way her mom and her dad both looked back and forth and all around several times to check to see if uh, it was their turn to cross. And that night, the traffic was particularly bad because it was drizzling and it was dinner time and a lot of team sports were finishing practice or games at the same time. What Samantha saw before her was not a pretty picture. But she stayed quiet, watching the cars inch across the intersection and listening for a way she could help. Samantha had played a good game of soccer that day and as she sat there in the minivan, she thanked God for giving her the grace, the speed and the agility to play so well. She knew God was always with her, which meant that he was right there also with her family, guiding them through the traffic. Oh, Samantha could feel the tension bubbling up in the car, so she closed her eyes and thanked God again, this time for her loving family, and for always knighting the way to solutions to every challenge. Her eyes flew open, and she leaned forward again. Hey mom, dad, check out the Christmas lights on the building on each corner. They make a five-pointed star. You know, I never saw that before tonight. Thanks for sitting here so long. Now I see it. So her dad chuckled and glanced at uh, her mom. And peering through the misty windshield and the glaring headlights, Samantha's mom studied each building and finally smiled. You're right, Sammy. It's a star and it's brighter than all of these car lights put together. Just the way it should be. Thank you for noticing. So Samantha grinned at her dad in the rear view mirror and squeezed her mom's shoulder. A few seconds passed quietly as the three of them watched the lights to twinkle. And suddenly, in the way it always seems to happen, the traffic dissolved, and five minutes later, they were still smiling and home. So you see, the world needs peace and cheerfulness, and we need many Samanthas to dispense those good vibes. And as for ourselves, we pray today that we may be bearers of peace in our thoughts and actions. Let's turn to Mary the Queen of Peace. Mary, remind us that we are 
recipients of Christ's peace. Help us to be channels of his peace in this world. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations that you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help to put them into effect. My Mother Immaculate, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.